This movie was so much fun to watch. It's, I feel like it's an experience more Thank than a movie, you. which I love. How much fun was it on set doing this? It was so fun because Colin, the director of Jurassic World and the co-writer, he kept the set really intimate. It, it didn't feel like we were making this like huge, crazy, intimidating movie. It felt like we were just all out in the jungle together making a film that we all deeply cared about. And obviously Chris Pratt is <laughs> the best. Who was easier to train, the Velociraptors or the kids on set? <laughs> I feel like I did, I, I feel like I, I was training uh, both uh, on the set. I would say, well, not Nick. Nick's a very much a, a grown man. Ty's, Ty's was in the process of be going from a kid to a young man on, on this movie. It was kind of neat to see that. Tell me about the first time you saw the Jurassic Park, like the doors to go in that first day. Those doors don't technically exist, but no, they, I know. Was, I, no. and the, the original ones did. Huh? They, uh, they one-upped the gates, though. They built an entire Main Street with yeah. a margarita yeah. bill. Derek and I came in to start working. There were just three ideas that we we pulled uh, that were Steven's ideas that we thought, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna make a movie based on this. And it was that the park was open, that there was a raptor trainer, which is crazy, and, and awesome, and uh, and then this idea that there was a new dinosaur that was going to break free and, and try and kill everybody, and they were claiming it was a real dinosaur. And to me, that I felt like that violated uh, one of the rules of Jurassic Park. It is based on on real paleontology, at least with recognizing these are dinosaurs and this is what they're called. And so to tell children there's a thing, you know, that that you know that really existed when it didn't, uh, that didn't sit well with me. The Velociraptors are pretty scary in the first one. Yep. This one, we get to see that they're trainable. Yes. Do you think that people will be less scared of the Velociraptors after seeing this film? No. No. I don't <laughs> no. think so. No. <laughs> this movie definitely picks up on the mythology that was created around the Velociraptors in the first movies. I mean, they were touted to be, I'm not sure that there's any scientific evidence to prove this, but they were touted to be like, Hyper intelligent, you know, they're problem solvers. They have the intelligence of like a marine mammal, a dolphin, or something like that. And so, because of that level of intelligence, there's also an emotional intelligence that comes with these animals, which I think creates a real organic bond between myself and the and and these and these dinosaurs. So, I I think that people's perception of them will will be changed by uh, by this movie. Yeah. I mean, I think people become less afraid of animals that are domesticated, but the question is, can raptors really be domesticated? Were you a big fan of dinosaurs growing up? Yes, I was. I, I, you know, I think I think we all were. I feel like every kid goes through a dinosaur phase. So I, I don't know if it's hard to say that you know I was the biggest dinosaur fan ever. It's like <laughs> saying you're the biggest Beatles fan. Like you know, there's others. Trust. Me.